Sleeper Simulant is still one of the best DPS weapons in the game, plus it's really useful across a range of activities for both PvP and PvE. And it's about to get a massive buff in Season 14 in Destiny 2 with a 15% increase to damage, so it's well worth adding to your arsenal if you haven't done so already. Well, today I'm going to walk through the steps required to get Sleeper Simulant after the Beyond Light update, as this is one of those weapon quests that changed dramatically since the original mission was put into the Destiny content vault. Well, if you like this video and find it useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, Sleeper Simulant has been around since Destiny 1, and while it was powerful back then, it gained a whole new generation of fans in Destiny 2 when it was introduced in Season 3 during the Warmind expansion. Well, back then, you had to take on a lengthy quest to get this weapon, but now, thankfully, it's much easier to acquire. Well, it's a good thing because we're about to get a massive buff to linear fusion rifles next season, meaning now is the best time to either dust off that old sleeper simulant from your vault or pick up a fresh new one. Well, without further delay, let's dive into the steps required to get your hands on one of the most powerful exotic power weapons in the game, and let's get that exotic linear fusion rifle in your hands ASAP. So sleeper simulant is arguably much easier to get these days, so you can now buy the exotic linear fusion rifle from the exotic kiosk in the tower, which you can find next to your vault, and it's called the Monument to Lost Lights. So if you check out the tower from the director, you can see the Monument to Lost Lights there next to the vault, and you'll always notice it when you're in the tower, because it's constantly blinking. Well, what you want to do is land in the tower in the main courtyard, then head on over to the Monument, and look under the Red War Exotics category. So Sleeper Simulant is going to cost you one exotic cipher, 125,000 Glimmer, 200 Baryon Bow, and one Ascendant Shard. So you can get an exotic cipher from the Season Pass, or you can complete a quest from Xur, and he's around from Friday until Tuesday. And I do a guide on Xur's location each week, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notifications bell to never miss an update. Glimmer can be acquired from pretty much any activity, so Strikes, Gambit, Crucible, public events, patrols, and everything in between. You can also go to Spider on the Tangled Shore and trade in materials for Glimmer, but don't trade in that Barry and Bow, as you're going to need it for that Sleeper Simulant. For the Ascendant Shards, you can purchase them from Banshee44 in the Tower, or you can get them from high-level Nightfalls as random drops from the final chest. And finally, there's the Barry and Bow, so this is a little bit more in-depth, so I'm going to go into how to farm Barry and Bow up next. Well, Barry and Bow are the planetary material found on the Dreaming City. There's a couple of ways to get them. So before you head down to the Dreaming City, you do want to prepare. So in particular, with your ghost shell. So there's a mod on your ghost called Wombo Detector. That's going to help you detect caches and resources within a 50 meter range. So put this on your ghost as this is really going to come in handy. So once you've done this, head down to the Dreaming City. So there are a few farming methods we're going to combine here. So pick up all the bounties from Pet Revenge. And do be aware that she moves around the locations on the Dreaming City to check out the map and mark her location so you can easily find her. And her bounties are going to reward you a bunch of Barry and Bow. Next, you can find the caches hidden on the Dreaming City. You'll be able to see these on your map and they'll reward you Barry and Bow. And finally, you can find individual Barry and Bow on the ground so your Wombo Detector Ghost mod is going to be able to help you find them nice and fast. It's also worth checking out Spider on the Tangled Shore as he may be selling or trading Barry and Bow. So his inventory rotates daily and do be careful with Spider though. I would probably wait for the 5 Barry and Bow to be sold for one legendary shard rather than the 5000 Glimmer unless you've got loads of Glimmer or you're absolutely desperate to get your hands on the Sleeper Simulant. So once you've got the materials head back to the Monument to Lost Lights in the tower and then purchase the Sleeper Simulant. Congratulations! you've now got one of the most powerful weapons in the game. So Sleeper Simulant is an exotic power linear fusion rifle, and looking at the exotic perks, we've got Dawn Roshen, and the weapon's laser over-penetrates enemies and refracts off hard surfaces. It's also got moving targets, so you get increased movement speed and target acquisition when moving whilst aiming down sights. So compared to a standard fusion rifle, the Sleeper Simulant has got much more range and accuracy, so instead of firing seven, Individual bolts per burst only fires once. It's got the pinpoint accuracy of a sniper rifle, though it uses a low zoom sight, which is something that most heavy weapons lack, and is capable of precision damage. So each beam fired has virtually unlimited range, 
as well as no damage fall off, meaning the damage inflicted either at close or long range will be the same. So talking about damage, the Sleeper Simulant inflicts extremely high damage per shot, making it a devastating weapon to use against bosses and can even penetrate closed shriekers. Now, it was the subject of a nerf in the previous season, as it was ruining Gambit with invaders wielding the very deadly Sleeper Simulant. And it is also one of the best looking weapons in the game, as it has roots in Destiny 1. It's got that nice kind of war mind and Rasputin motif. So linear fusion rifles, they're about to get a whole lot better in Season 14 of Destiny 2, with Bungie lining up a 15% buff to damage and a 20% buff to the magazine size. So Bungie said in their latest update, so linear fusion rifles are an unpopular choice currently in PvE, largely because other weapons do their intended job, that single target sustained damage. So they do it better or more efficiently without the requirement of landing all precision hits. So we want to keep the LFR's focus on precision damage, but decided to increase the precision damage to make them more competitive and increase reserves to give them more staying power. Note that we have seen plenty of suggestions to move some or all of the LFR's out of the heavy slot, but this is a substantial amount of work and a balanced risk for PvP due to the difficulty of balancing sniper rifles as instant shot weapons against LFRs that have charge time. They've got wildly varying flinch and also aim assist values, and it reduces weapon diversity in the heavy slot. It's also still a possibility for some time in the future though, if tuning them as a heavy weapon doesn't have the desired effect. So it is a bit of tuning and wait and see there with linear fusion rifles, but I'm willing to bet that after this buff, Sleeper Simulant is going to be one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think of the Sleeper Simulant, and what do you think of that buff, and which activity do you like to use it in? Well, that is it for this guide for how to get a Sleeper Simulant in Destiny 2 after the Beyond Light update. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, I found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, I'll see you in the next video. Now that Zavala and Kai